So I'm so excited to show you my new coffee maker. This is my Christmas present from my husband and my son, and it was back ordered. And I just got it. I, I got it actually uh, about a week or two ago. I did some basic filming when I first opened it because I was so excited. But now I want to show you how it works. So the first thing to know about the Terra Cafe is that it is a coffee shop barista level machine. But it is sold directly to the consumer, so you're not going through a middleman. So the price is about half of some of the other beautiful high-end machines that I had looked at. Now, speaking of beautiful, this is the only espresso machine coffee maker in the Museum of Modern Art. I think it looks beautiful in my kitchen. Now I have an all white kitchen with turquoise and some stainless, but if you tend to have uh, darker colors in your kitchen, they do make it in black, but I really like it in the white. And I had looked at lots of coffee makers and this was the one that I really, really liked. When it's a little bit expensive, but I do have a coupon for you, a coupon code that's good for $75 off. So it's a good, coupon. But let me go through basic instructions. So you can do an Americano, you can do an espresso, of course. You can have a latte, a cappuccino. You can do just milk if you want warm milk. And then you can also do hot water. So those are the basics. Now within the basics, you can go through and you can adjust all of those things on this machine to suit you. So if you want to do a latte or a cappuccino, then you add your own uh, milk, whatever kind of milk that you want to use, a regular uh, soy, whatever you're using. And it comes with this carafe and the carafe can stay in the refrigerator the rest of the time. The hose hooks up and after, after you use it, then the system will go through a cleaning where you attach this hose right there and it cleans it for you. And it says, getting ready to clean. And you say, okay, you check it and go through a little cleaning, very brief, but that's really nice. In case you forget to do it, it does it for you. This machine really thinks on its own. I love it. Okay, so the other thing that I really like about this machine is that it will hold a whole bag of beans right up in here. And the grinder is such that you can adjust the grind. Right now we keep it set on about one and a half or two and that is uh, a good uh, grind for me. Now if you were doing a French press, which I've talked about in the past, that is the coarsest grind of all that you use on a French press. But for this, because you're doing espressos, you can go a little finer. Really the finest if you want. Okay, and here's another great thing about this machine. There's a little tiny area right here that you can use, it's a little shoot, that you could put your own pre-ground coffee. You know, sometimes you go somewhere and, oh, there's a coffee bean in there. <laughs> you go somewhere and you wanna try their specialty coffees, but you don't necessarily want a whole bag of beans. Well, that's what that is for there. Also, when you go through the cleaning process on this machine, that is where you will put the cleaning pellet and you can get those from their site, the Terra Cafe site. Okay, so here is the, the carafe that comes with it. Terra Cafe, and I'm gonna move that aside just so that I can show you. It's gonna tell me that I'm doing something. So this is the water, and you fill this up. Actually, it could stand to be filled up right now. So maybe I'll do that before I make our coffee. But that goes in the side. Very easy, no trying to fuss around the back of the machine to get this thing loaded. And then whenever it makes a coffee, it compacts the grounds into little pucks. So let me show you that. So it makes it very easy to dump these into your garden. 
and that adds a lot of magnesium to your plants and the waste bin is, can then be just rinsed out. It's pretty easy. Okay, let's make a cup of coffee. This one, of course, it's grinding the beans. It's kind of fun to watch it. <laughs> So this is a cappuccino using almond milk. And there it comes. So it's coming through there. And it's whipping it up nicely. If you like it really foamy, there is an adjustment for that, or if you like it a little heavier and thicker, then you just dial it down for that. But you can see it makes a really nice frothy cup. And it's gonna take it right to the top. Now, I'll show you what happens whenever I decide to put it into sleep mode. So it says that it's shutting down, but it's not really shutting it down completely as you will see here in a moment so it's going to clean the system and i put a little dish just because it's easy just to take the dish off and and go uh run it in the sink bin and that's it and now it says Earth to bean, bean to cow. And again, it's beautiful on my coffee cart. It doesn't take up too much space. It doesn't look like I'm working at Starbucks or something by having it. It's, it's easy to clean. I wipe it off. I fill it up as needed. And well, as you can tell, I'm just really tickled over this Terra Cafe. And let me say, they did not sponsor this. This was my Christmas present from my husband. And I did talk to them and they said, yes, you can share that code with other people. And so I am going to share it with you. I don't drink a whole pot of coffee a day. I have, as I said, one really good cup of coffee uh, late morning. And that's it for me for the day. But it's also kind of fun to have this when my friends come over. Well, when my friends are allowed to come over again, right? And they can make whatever they want. And I just think it's a lot of fun. And it adds a little touch of class to my kitchen too. So I hope you have enjoyed this review of the Terra Cafe coffee maker. I shouldn't call it a coffee maker. It's an espresso machine. But it does a lot more than just espresso. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have some tricks that you use when you're making your specialty coffees, leave me a message below and I would love to hear about it. If you haven't already, subscribe. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and that just tells YouTube that maybe somebody else would like it too. So I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.